Hi there and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today I'm going to talk about Link Checker, which is a tool in order to analyze all the links that you have on your website. Uh, it's released under the GPL and V2 license and it's uh, kind of a competitor to uh, Xenu Links Loads and as well to Screaming Frog. Uh, even if with Link Checker you cannot extract some data such as the H1, H2, uh, title tag, meta description, and that kind of thing. Link Checker is just for links and it's closely more like a competitor to, to Xenu. Okay, so available on different platforms. Here in my case, I'm using GNU Linux and uh, as well, it's available as a, as a UI. So that's what I'm going to show you um, right now. Um, so in order to install it, you just need to go for sudo apt install and then to precise that you want link checker and then uh, to make the choice between uh, the graphical user interface of link checker itself. So in my case, I'm just going to launch link checker GUI, not the one I'm going to use in this tutorial, but it's going to show you at least how it looks like. Uh, what is the most important here within the graphical user interface, the options part and where you can edit the config file. Okay, And when you edit it, it's editing the same file as the one as a link checker. So that's uh, that's really great. And uh, now I'm going to show you more the command line interface because this is where you can get full control over everything which is happening. So in order to launch a uh, link checker, you just need to type in link checker and then you need to indicate the website that you would like to investigate. You can as well investigate um, URL list. Okay, so for example, uh, if I go for uh, if I go for this, for example, I go for link checker okay link checker and then i'm gonna uh, use a, a file that i have which is the url file list.html okay and that's it so here um, is gonna go through oh okay um here's gonna go through a file that i created which is called url file HTML and as you can see it contains two links which are this one and this one so pay attention you need to have links uh, it seems so put them within the H uh, within a uh, HTML tag um, and here what I did not do is the link checker this file but then I need to say okay check what we call the external link because here what's happening is when it's going through this file is going first to url file list.html which that it's considered as a link itself so to him is going to be like the main domain name and then we'll consider those two as external so if you do it like this you will see that it's going to say hey okay this one is a 404 and okay so that that's the way it's analyzing uh, let's say um local file of url if you have one so uh, now other thing that you have to know is when you analyze a domain name then you can of course precise a parameter in order to say how deep you would like to go within your analysis so here it means that you will just go one level down verbose means that you would like to display the different status within the common line interface ignore url means that actually you would like to skip some uh, url if they are kind of conflicting with the analysis and here output equals csv and then my result.csv means that we would like to output all the results of the analysis as a csv file and we would like it to be named uh, my result.csv so here i'm launching the and the command in order for a tool to analyze the different link and then once i would like to stop it i just press ctrl and c okay so i just did it and now i can uh, go over here and i see that i have a file which is called my result.csv which has just been created so i can uh, open it on uh, libreoffice and here the separator is the semicolon and i can click on ok in order to see my full file so you see here you have uh, everything that you need in order to take a decision in order to analyze easily which pages has been broken and you can as well um, get some extra uh, variable information such as the one that you can see over here okay that's uh interesting but that's not let's say the 
uh, full thing about link checker. To me, I think the most important thing is what we call the config file, because what you would like to avoid is to type all those parameters all the time, okay? And this is what you can set within the config file. So it's what we're gonna see right now. We're gonna go within our config file, which is uh, located um, somewhere on your computer. So in my case, it's on the, the home. So it's located over here. It's my home, then my, my name, and then um, the name of the program, and then the uh, config file. So here sudo nano means that we are gonna open it up in order to modify it. And here you see a full file where every hash that you can see, which are here below, means that it's either a command or either um, the fact that you would like to activate one feature. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna uh, turn off the verbose mode. So I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna as well, um, go like, uh, yeah, I can automatically get the file output. Um, here, I would like to keep it as it is. Um, so yeah, I can activate the color part, which could be fun. Um, and what I would like to get as well. So as you can see, you can really set everything that you want uh, over here. Time connection. I'm going to look for the plugins part because the plugins part is kind of fun. That's the one that you can see over here, uh, which allows you to activate some extra feature which are not here by default. So in my case, I would like the CSS to be checked. I would like the HTML to be checked as well. And that's, that's mainly it. So uh, once you are good with your setting, what you can do is that you can um, write it out, so CTRL-O, okay, as I did, and in order to exit, CTRL-X. Okay, and uh, now I can, in fact, launch my analysis like this. So I'm gonna keep here the ignore URL stuff, okay? I'm gonna remove the verbose because I don't need it anymore. And uh, as a result now, when I'm launching it, uh, it's gonna, so it make it verbose by default, and uh, it's gonna create normally the CSV file for me without asking for it. And, um, and it's gonna include as well the analysis of the CSS and of the HTML, okay? The one that you can see um, over here. Okay, so when you are done, you can just press CTRL-C. Okay, and now normally if I'm lucky enough, I get my link checker out.csv automatically. So I can just click on it. And then I can uh, double check what's going on. So here it's kind of interesting to see that I'm getting, you see, those W3C validator telling me the valid syntax is okay. And, um, and yeah, so it's doing the, the job. So it's kind of interesting. I don't know why, but uh, we had some additional mistakes in terms of HTML that I cannot see um, over here. But uh, yeah, I just show you how you can easily um, modify the config file in order to make a link checker suit your needs and analyze properly all your URL. And that's it uh, for today. So as usual, uh, feel free to experiment the solution that you just installed. Try to configure it uh, properly in order to really uh, suit your needs because this is where everything is laying down under uh, link checker. And small thanks for watching and do not hesitate to share this video on your own video with others.